Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back with 10 Excel tricks that will make you advance in Excel. So let's get started. Our first trick is how to use rep function in Excel. So let's see how it works. First we have to type is equal to REPT rep bracket start. Now you have to use double Q toes then use this sign then double q toes then comma then select number then make it close enter it has created barcodes for you now i have dragged it now use here play bill font and it's changed it into charts. Drag this. Let's move to our next trick that is superscript. How to use superscript function in Excel. Simply select these two text and press control one and click on superscript and click on OK. Now it is superscript. If you drag this, it will create all superscript function in Excel. Now let's move to our next trick that is age calculation. How to calculate age in Excel. For this, you have to use int function is equal to int bracket start. Again, bracket start, select two days date, then press minus, then select date of birth, then bracket close, then you have to divide it by 365.25, then press and, and OK. Now your age is calculated. It's my date of birth and my age is 23 and your formula is right now move to our next trick that is how to count hours you have worked in your job for this you have to use one formula that is is equal to mod bracket start your out punch minus your in punch then comma, then press one, then bracket close, then into, then 24 and enter, then drag it. If I use it again, this formula M or D, bracket start, out punch minus N punch, Then comma one bracket close into twenty four. Then press enter. It shows eighteen here. To convert this into hours, you have to use Control Shift one. It will change it into hours. You have worked. Next, let's move to our next trick. That is. How to get data from web to Excel? Now we have one website that is www.indiacensus.net. I have already opened this website. So let's see how I get data from web. Just go to data tab and click on get data. Then click on from other source. Then select from web. Here you have to write this web address that is indiacensus.net then click on ok now it will display all the tables that are included in this website just like this 
I have select this table then click on load load to I have existing worksheet so I select the existing worksheet then click on this arrow select this cell then click on ok it will get data from web to excel now let's let's move to our next trick that is how to visualize data in excel just select this data press ctrl t to convert it into table then press alt and q enter it simply make a graph for you so you have seen that how you can easily visualize data in excel now let's move to our next trick that is how to calculate running total percentage in excel we have subjects and marks here that are in percentage let's see how it works just select this and click on this tool then go to total then click on this arrow then press this percentage this is our running total percentage in excel now let's move to our next trick that is how to format words in excel we have a name here that is alan musk and now i want this in proper case you have to use proper formula for that cell select enter it will convert it into proper case now we have to convert into it upper case is equal to upper formula bracket start select the cell bracket close enter it will convert it into upper case now I, now i want this name as first name and surname for this we will use this function that is text to column function i have select the data select the column click on text to column then go to next we have space between them so i have selected space here then click on next our destination is selected that is click on this arrow select the destination click on again this arrow then click on finish and now click on ok this will make this data into first name and surname now let's move to our next trick that is replace errors have you have seen that here we have error and we usually do here zero again and again but you have one shortcut for this that is just like this range then press ctrl plus g then go to special then click on formulas then unselect all these and select only errors then click on ok then press 0 and click on ctrl plus enter it will make all the errors into 0 now let's move to our next trick that is how to fill blank data let's see how it works just select our range that is i have selected now go to find and select click on go to special you can also use ctrl plus g for this and go to special and click on blank then press ok now it has selected the blank cell then click on 
is equal to and select the upper cell and press control plus enter it will fill your blank data in excel so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and also do like this video and do comment if you like this video thank you so much for watching this video